mai i pōtiki rua ki te toka a taiau. Tauana ki a tūranga tangata rite, rere iho ki ngā tukemata o kahungunu, ngā reo irirangi o te rāwhiti. Ngā mihi nui kia koutou and thanks for making contact with us here at Kaputai Rāwhiti. Yes, we'd probably call a penalty pass if you stepped right past us. <laughs> but no, we intercepted you crossing to another channel and we're so glad you are joining us this morning. Whether you're watching us here in Aotearoa or even across the ditch. Speaking of across the ditch, hei te rāne, hei katu taki atu tātou ki te tei o waku i rāmutu, kei te tai kaura āia e noho ana. Jordan Ngārimu is Ngai Tā Manuhiri on her mum's side and Ngāti Prao on her dad's side. Mate caught up with her to talk about her rise to notoriety in the netball circles with the Gold Coast Titans. Yes indeed, that's coming up very very soon. Hioi i te tuatahi ki whakarongoa ke tātou ki ngā pūrongo o te wā. Mai i te tī ki te tā ki ngā tai pito pito o te wā. He wera te tī me maringi. Mōrena e hekamā, nā te kaha heke o te hua ki te tai rāwhiti a rā ki Turanganui Ākiwa me ngā taone pātata ki ngā wāhi nei i tēnei wiki tonu nei. E nā te nui o ngā waipuke kua kitea, a te nui hoki o ngā awa kua rewa i roto i ngā rangi tata ake nei. Ori te ana te kaha heke o te ua i e tahi wā ki te wiki i tau mai ai a Huripari Gabriel ki tēnei taki wā. I raru hoki e tahi rori matua ki te huarahi toru te kau mārima o pōtiki ki whangaparawa, tai atu hoki ki te ara tuarua. Hio ai anō ko te raru raru i tēnei wā e whakatika hea ana e waka ko tahi i ngā rori rua te kau mawaru nā ngā hua o Huripari Gabriel me te matapai ka raru tēnei heke ngā ua i e tahi atu rori. Ki kahungonu ko Plant Hawks Bay, tērā i tino raru i a Huripari Gabriel, engari e whakatipu pāpara ana te pakehi nei, hei āwhina i ngā mahi kaupare horo whenua ki te takiwā. I te marama o Pēpu e rei i tino pākea te kamupene e te Huripari, a toru mita te teitei o te waipuke e kitea ki tana wāhi mahi whakatipu rākau Māori. Kio ia nō nā te āwhina o ngā kaimahi kore utu, kwa ora anō te pakehi nei me te wawataia, ka whakatipu ai e rātau ngā rākau pāpara rima te kau mano, ka whakatipu ki ngā taha awa. He timo kai, he wera te wai, noho mai me rāhia rāua ko mātai. Jordan Ngārimu is a name to keep an eye on in the Australasian netball scene. And Miana Kwe, based in the Gold Coast now, the mum of two currently plays for the Gold Coast Titans netball team and says if it wasn't for her humble beginnings at Muriwai School some years ago, she probably wouldn't be where she is today. I recently caught up with my Ira Mutu at her beautiful whare in the Gold Coast where we spoke about her past, her present and her future. Akati kia mā takitaki a ke tātou. Kia ora, I'm Jordan Narimu, uh, my iwi is Ngai Tamanu Hiri and Ngāti Puru and I live here on the Gold Coast. I moved here about 14 years ago with mum and dad, they just wanted uh, better opportunities for me. Um, I started at Wuriwai School, my mum was coaching me, I um, absolutely loved it, I think I started when I was about five. Cam and Bully were the sideline dads, so it wasn't anything about mum, it was Cam and Bully, they were there every weekend supporting their girls. Yeah, with um, the Muriwa Magic Management. Yeah, yeah. Started most of my like career, I would say, over here. Um, just in like school teams, and they'll get higher, like Queensland teams, and then so on. And um, when I first fell pregnant, just a year before that, I was kind of burnt out with netball, especially the system over here is pretty strong. I um, met my partner, and that's probably where it all happened. I was just, you know, in love, I suppose, and I just didn't, I just didn't really want to do anything. So I just fo I followed him for his sporting career. We were only about 17, 18. We moved to Melbourne by ourselves. I just, he always used to say, you need to get back into netball, you need to do something. Like I always in the back of my head just, you know, dreamt of going back to play. And then I started getting more serious when we moved to the Gold Coast. That's when I joined my first Queensland team and it was, it was the Sapphire competition, so that's like sort of like the feeder clubs through to like Firebirds and the high up team. So at the end of that year, Titans were announcing that Tim Apata Bailey was coming to coach the new Titans inaugural team. So I was just like, oh my god, like this could be my opportunity. <laughs> so I like trained my ass off for that whole year probably. And then, you know, it all came around, trials happened. 
and then I ended up getting in the team, which I was so grateful for, but I was also pregnant with my second kid. So I, my season was cut short, yeah. My kids, they are, one is four, year, four years old, her name's Alina. Uh, my baby, her name is Gigi. She is one and, one and a little bit. My daughter, Alina, I don't know where she gets it from, but it's like it's natural to her. Like, she just loves the Māori language. She will watch um, Lion King, Moana in Te Reo Māori. She loves her greenstone. She's got a greenstone on right now. She, she hasn't taken that off since she was, like, two, I think. Because I was, great, like, raised with the Māori culture the, through my nana and all that. Oh, sorry. And I suppose it was a bit hard sort of losing that. Jordan, and I see your mum and dad here, Penny and Cam are here, um, to totoko and support you. How important is that for you, being based here on the Gold Coast and having mum and dad support you? It's like, out of this world. I always brag to my friends just how lucky I am to have my parents here and Tino's parents. Well, my aspirations, I suppose, were just to have the best season possible in the Sapphire series, because it is quite up there already and I didn't even see myself sort of coming back to netball. So I guess you could say that's your short term goal, perhaps the long term goal is to play for Australia or maybe even the Silver Ferns? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think mum would love that, um, probably, but I think anything would be amazing long term, yep. We all are for the Silver Ferns, she's just like, mm, kind of. <laughs> Uh, George, uh, are you an Up The Wire supporter or are you hearty Gold Coast Titans? <laughs> I used to be, me and Dad used to be the best like Warrior supporters. We went to the 2013 Grand Final, knowing Tino and all that. My dad, my dad was like up here with the Warriors fans and now he's just like, ooh, because he's, he loves Tino and, but I was saying to mum, lucky he's not so attached to them, he wouldn't be talking to anyone right now. <laughs> I'm actually really happy where I am now mm. with the Titans and I think it suits my lifestyle. Kei te haraki koe Jordan, no te ao, the world is your oyster and we certainly look forward to following you and your blossoming netball career in the coming days, months and years ahead. Surely a silver ferns bib is calling you. I'll have a word to Auntie Niles, eh? Can you ring her? Actually, don't <laughs> ring her now, I've just got to finish it off. Akati, it is time to blow the full-time whistle on this episode of Kapu Tai Rafiti. Enjoy your weekend e te ti, e te ta, hei kona, and up the brass. AKA the Broncos. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Radio Ngati Poro. Radio Kahungunu. Tūranga FM. Kaputi me nga irirangi o te rāwhiti. Ko te reo, te take.